So this is the um, disability pay chart. There's more things that uh, take effect in this uh, chart, but um, for example, dependence uh, and the severity. Uh, well, this is just a regular chart on how many points you get. But like I said before, if you have a certain injury, they might it might be higher than than the other person. So I'm gonna show you right now how the chart works, okay? So we're gonna imagine that an individual, there's three individuals, okay? There's A, B, and C. A has a bunch of tens. And we're gonna make the scenario that all of them have a hundred, okay? A hundred points. And I'm gonna try to illustrate you what I mean We're going to put this guy at 20 right here, um, 20 and 10. This guy, we're going to put him at 50, 40, and a 10. So the reason I put the high number on top is because you always go by the high number. So a 10 and a 10 is a 27, okay? Another 10, so now the 27... You got to look at the 27 over here. And then another 10 will equal a 34. The next 34 with a 10, because you're sliding this one down, with a, uh, this, uh, with a 34 will equal a 41. The next one, since it's already right here, is going to equal a 47. And then the next one, well, you go at 52, and the next one, as you can see, oh, sorry, as you can see on uh, on this pay on this paper, that the line, the first line, stop right there. I mean, the first line is a 27, and it, and it, and and the line is getting shorter every time, okay? Because the 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 closer you get to it, it's gonna get lower. Um, less by by 10 points so we're at one two three four five six that's six the next line which is a 56 will be right here that's a 60 and the next line is a 64 and then on the 64 right here it will be a 68 and the next one, a 68 will equal a 71. So a 71 on a number uh, on this one will equal a 70. Okay. So now we're gonna do scenario two, which has two big numbers. And you're gonna see what I'm gonna conclude with. Okay. Um, a lot of people say high numbers are big. While if you both have the same number equivalent. You're going to see what the what the result is, okay? So, the first one, he gets a 40 and a 30. Which is a 58, okay? So, you eliminate those two, right? A 58 is over here now. With a, with a, uh, a 20. Now that equals a 66. A 66 with a 10 equals a 69. As you can see right here, both of them equal 70, but the big numbers with low numbers is actually lower. So we're going to try the final scenario on this one. Even if you get 250s, we'll say 250s, A 50 in a 50. That will be 75. That will equal a 80. That's the only scenario that I could think of that a 100 will equal higher. Unless, of course, this number increases. Well, it, it, even if it, well, yeah, if it increases. Because a 90 and a, uh, I mean, a 80 and a 20 equals a 84. Okay, so on the last scenario, 
We have a 50 and a 40 right here. So the 50 is going to drag down. And this one is going to equal a 70, but the 70 over here with a 10 will equal a 73. So a 73 will actually equal a 70. The moral story is all of them are going to give you the same result if they all equal 100. Now, when people are saying you have to have a high, high number, it's because we're going to be realistic, okay? Well, imagine that both of you now have the same amount of injuries. Of course, he's going to be higher if he has a 50 and a 10 and you have two 10s because his math is higher, of course. But that's the way you calculate it. Um, the disability, you go from the highest number, we'll say a 50 with a 40. And whatever that result is, which is a 70, then on the next injury, you're going to do a 70, which is now on this side because the chart is split it. And whatever the number that, that they gave you. But I like to do it on the bottom, by the way. A 70, it's the same answer. Because on top, there's no, you can't have a 10. Uh, there's no 10. So a 70, and we'll say a 30, is your next one. So basically, it's 50, 40, 30 on this scenario. So you always have to do your math like that. So you could get the right answer. And that will equal a 79. Hopefully that makes sense. You always look at your injuries from top to bottom, from highest to lowest. And just because of 50, just because you have 10 tens that will equal 100, it won't equal 100. You already know now that it equals 70. So almost anything that is 100, almost anything that is 100 will equal a 70. And for... The high numbers will say from an 80 and up. If you have a disability of 80 and up and two tens, that will probably equal now a 80. I mean, a 80 and a 10. Well, we'll say it over here. You could do it over here. 80 and a 10, 82. And then you get another 10, 82. That's 84. So we'll equal a 80 if you have an 80 and two tens, we'll say. That's the only scenario, 70 and uh, 80 and up. But the moral story is go from the high number to the low number. I know it's kind of confusing what I'm trying to say. And a lot of people say, well, this is wrong or whatever. The scenario is right, but they're trying to tell you that go for the high number or how to do it. But the calculation is right. You cannot mess up this table. So have a good day, okay?